Hey guys, welcome to X Hit with your trainer Rebecca Louise. Today's workout is all for my friends and readers at Girls Life magazine. So this one's for you girls. We're going to do three circuits working on our legs, upper body, then our abs. And we're going to start off with a warm up. So let's get straight into it. We're going to do 10 seconds of high knees. We're going to go into booty kickers and then back to high knees. Okay, let's take it into those booty kickers. Just thinking about hitting your feet with your butt. You can put your hands behind your back. Okay, high energy, everybody. Let's take it back into those high knees. Get nice and high. And we're going to take it back into those booty kickers. In three, two, one. Last set of booty kickers. Make sure you're breathing, everybody. It's really important when we're doing exercise. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, take a nice stance. We're just going to warm up those arms and shoulders. So we're going to do 10 circles back. Three. That's it. Really stretch up high. Six. Seven. Nine. And give me one more. And let's go forwards. 10 again. Two. Four, halfway there. Six, seven, nine, and your last one. Okay, your last bit for your warm up. We're just going to do twists. So, 10 in total. Four, six, eight, 10. Okay, excellent job. Let's roll those shoulders round. Give your legs a wiggle. And we're going to start off by working out those legs. Okay, circuit number one, we're going to be working on the legs. We're going to do lateral hops. So just think there's something just lying down there, like a towel or something, and we're going to jump over it. So really bring your knees up high and then back over. We're going to do 30 seconds. It's on the clock. Let's go. Really bring those knees up as high as you can, jumping side to side. That's it, guys. Excellent job. Keep it up. This is your cardio. So we're going to be working off those calories. Keep it going. 10 seconds. If you can, if you want to, you can slow it down. Two. Give me one more jump. Okay, your next one. Still a little bit of cardio. Everyone's favorite. Squat jumps. And we're going to punch this sky as we get to the top. So, squat down. 90 degrees, thinking about wiggling your toes so that your heels are just on the ground, pulling down, and as you jump, punching the sky. Okay, again, 30 seconds, so let's really power through all the way. Let's go. Excellent job. Is it really thinking about punching up, low squat? 20 seconds. it nice and low. You want to make sure that our knees don't come in. So thinking about out to the side, we don't want to lock our knees. Okay, give me one more. Okay, excellent job. Give those legs a shake. Okay, let's take it into a squat with a lateral leg raise. Okay, so we're going to squat down. Again, thinking about your heels on the ground. Wiggle those toes as you come up. We're going to extend the leg out to the side and bring it back down and swap on to the other side. Again, we've got 30 seconds. Let's take it away. This is really good for your balance. So all those athletes and dancers out here, this is a great workout for you. Really thinking about holding that core as you come up, squeeze those glutes. It's going to help you with your balance and just focus on something in front of you. And that's gonna help as you lift the leg. Five seconds. And lift the last time and bring it back down. Okay, again, working on our balance. We're gonna do a back lunge, bring the leg in, kicking it out. We're gonna do 15 seconds on each side. So let's take that right leg back, down. Remember, 
Exercise has got to be fun and exciting. And this is what these workouts are designed just to do. We just want to keep you healthy. It's not even about becoming a big, muscly bodybuilder. Let's swap over to the other leg. It's just about being healthy, getting everybody involved. And remember, each time you do exercise, I know it sounds crazy, but at the end, it actually gives you more energy. It definitely does with me. Okay, your last one. Okay, there you have it. Your legs is over and done. We're gonna take a 30 second water break. So pick up your water bottles. And let's get some water on board. It's really important that we do keep hydrated when we are working out. Now, once you get into the habit of working out, you're gonna find it so much more fun. You're gonna get better results. But you know what? Getting into that habit takes a lot of willpower. And that's one of the main things that keeps people going when they are working out. Now, if you want to learn more about willpower and how to get into good habits, then you should check out the video at Wellcast. They're my friends, they're great, and they've got loads of exciting and good tips for you. Your break is over. We're going to go out into the circuit two, which is going to be working our upper body. So coming down to the floor, we're going to do push-ups. Now, I know most of you think you can do a push-up. It just has to be here. But I think if you're starting off with a push-up, you've never done them before, just cross your legs over at the back and just come down onto your knees. Now, you want to make sure that you're coming onto this part of your knees, not the kneecaps here. So we're just supporting those joints. So come down. We're going to do 30 seconds. And then the last three seconds, we're going to hold it. OK? So let's go. 30 seconds. Now, you've got to keep continuing to breathe. I know it sounds really simple. But people often forget when they're working out to making sure that that oxygen is getting to all of our muscles. OK, excellent job, guys. Keep it going. We really are using our chest and our triceps here, so improving our upper body. OK, I want you to hold it here for three, two, one. OK, relax. Walk your hands back in and come up to standing. Now, your second exercise, we're going to do a deadlift. So you normally see people having a bar and using weights, but I don't want you to use any weights. This whole workout for you guys at Girls Life is specifically designed for you girls. So no weights at all. And what I want you to do is keep your back nice and straight, going down. And then as you come up, just bring your chest out. I'm going to do 30 seconds. So really nice and low, thinking about holding onto like a bar and then coming up. OK, 30 seconds. That's it. Keep that back nice and straight. And then as you come up, almost think about rolling your shoulders back. Yeah, we really are working our back muscle here. And just take your time nice and slowly. You've got five seconds left. So let's go down for one more. Bring it up and back. OK, we're going to go into some uppercuts. So on a nice stance like this, we're going to do 15 seconds of each side, and you're going to really just think about punching it, OK? So really just go for it. 15 seconds. Let's go. Great job, guys. Come on, really are working those arms. Keep it going all the way to the end. We're going to swap in three, two, one. Jump those legs across, and let's go. 15 seconds. Come on, really use those arms, punching up. Big uppercuts, girls, come on. Five, four, three, two, last one, one. Excellent job. Give those shoulders a little shake. We've got those legs out. OK, your last exercise for your upper body, ascending arm circles. So arms out to the side, nice athletic stance. We're just going to go 10. Small, 10 medium, and then 10 big, and then go back around the other way. OK, so 10 small ones. 9, 10. OK, let's take it into medium circles. 1, 2, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Let's take it into big ones. Really stretch to the ceiling. Five, seven, nine. Give me one more. OK, we're going to take it back the other way. So big circles going inwards. 
two, four. That's it, guys. Really stretch up to the top. Six, eight. It's going to be two more big ones. Okay, take it down to those medium. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Last one, ten. Okay, small little ones. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, you should be really feeling it in those arms and just give it a wiggle out. That's your upper body done, and we're now going to take another break. Okay, another 30 second rest. So pick up that water again, keep bringing it on board. Remember, any time throughout this workout that you do need to have a rest, take some water and just put the video on pause and you can come back again when you're ready. Now, the most important thing about these workouts is having fun. It's not just about exercising and getting fit, but it's about feeling healthy. Now I know every single time I do a workout, I feel like I've really accomplished something afterwards. And that's the main thing. We have the rest of our day, and you can just get one workout out, and you're going to feel much better throughout the rest of the week. Okay, circuit number three, your abs. We're going to go down to the floor, and we're going to do mountain climbers, okay? So, arms out in front of you like this, and we're just going to bring our leg in one at a time. We're going to do it for 30 seconds. Okay, time's on the clock, let's go. Now, if you want to pick up the pace, you can just run it. And again, if you're finding that too difficult, just slow it down. But think about engaging your core, really using those ab muscles. You can feel the working. 10 seconds. Come on, guys. See if for the last few seconds you can really go as fast as you can. Three, two, one. OK, now we're going to stay on the ground. We're going to do a plank walk. Now, most of you probably know what a normal plank is. You're just holding it, but we're going to move. So, come a bit further off back your mat, and we're just going to be on our elbows, and we're just going to walk. 30 seconds. Let's go. So you're going to walk it forwards, and then walk it back. Now, if you need to, you can come down onto your knees and just walk it. But if you really want to push yourself, let's see if we can stay on those toes. Keep breathing. You've just got 10 seconds. This thing about crawling through the grass. Three, two, one, and relax. Okay, I want you to come onto your backs. We're going to do 30 seconds of bicycles. So just twisting like this. 30 seconds again. So really feel those tummy muscles working. Engage those abs. And thinking about hitting your elbow to the opposite knee. Excellent job. Extend that leg out. Come on, girls. Keep it going. Less than 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two. Last one. And relax. OK. Your last exercise. Reverse crunch. I want you to come down, putting your hands underneath your bottom. Extend your legs out and bring them in. 30 seconds again. This is the last 30 seconds, guys. So just keep going all the way to the end. That's it. And breathing. Try and get those legs nice and straight as you get to the end. You should be really feeling at those abs now, girls. Excellent job. 10 seconds. Okay, five, four, three, two, one. And slowly come up to standing. Okay, you've done all the hard bit, now we're just gonna cool down. So come down to the floor. We're gonna start with a cobra stretch. So just stretching out those abdominals and just holding it here, thinking about just really pressing those hands into the floor. Now, it's really important every time that we do exercises that we do a really good cool down too. That's probably more important than actually when we warm up. Okay, let's go into a child's pose. So just coming down, really thinking about stretching those arms out, stretching out that back. Let's just hold it here for another three, two, one. 
Okay, now coming up to standing, we're going to do a toe touch. So, just want you to drop down, just really relax that head, and just thinking about bringing your hands down to the floor. It doesn't matter how far you get, if you're just here, just make sure that your head is relaxed. And let's just hold it here, just stretching out our legs. And slowly coming up. Now we're going to take it into the quad pull. So grabbing one leg, we just want to stretch out those quads. We have spent lots of time tightening our muscles, so now is the time to loosen them. This is going to prevent us from injury too. Okay, and let's swap over onto the other leg. And if you're struggling with balance, then you can always hold onto a wall or hold onto your friend. If you're working out together, that always makes workout so much more exciting too, when you've got lots of people involved. Okay, let's do a shoulder pull. So just one arm across the other, just stretching out the shoulder here. Now each stretch, you just want to hold it for about five to ten seconds. Okay, and let's swap over onto the other side. Just really pulling it across, feeling that stretch in the shoulders. Okay, last stretch we're going to do is the tricep pull. So you want one arm over the other. We're going to hold the hand on the elbow and just drop it down just to stretch out those tricep muscles. Okay, last one, just swap it over to the other side. Remember, if you need to do any more stretching, make sure you do take the time to do it. That's it, roll those shoulders and just shake out those legs. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, especially my friends and readers at Girls Life magazine. I hope you enjoyed this workout. Now remember, there's plenty more from X here and me, your trainer, Rebecca Louise. So check out the rest of the videos. You can follow me on Twitter, at The Model Pilot, or my Facebook fan page, Rebecca Louise. Subscribe to our channel, it is free, and make sure you come back again tomorrow.